So the Sorcerer's Tarot. And it just seems a lot lately. I'm getting Los Gabriel decks. That's what have been appealing to me, like the artwork and the theme of them. So, and this is a new one. So, in a world of magicians, magic touches the heart of everything. And so, you got like the six languages, again, four on top, two on bottom. You got a flip of the same image on the back. And then you got the fool there. Almost like a madman type of figure. No. The hermit figure. And to me, this is like watercolor and I like the watercolor design with it. Look at that strength. And like the hanged man, hanged man almost looks like he's falling. And like with death, it almost looks like the hermit kind of almost graduated in a way or has become death. Like that card was like a prelude to that. And like I think some people may find certain aspects of possibly a lot of the cards like too busy or with a lot of stuff. Like you got some of them have like the border designs. You got a lot of stuff going like a lot of color. A lot of things but it like works with the card because you got stuff like that but this one's like if you're trying to bring a little more magic kind of learning what is to come the busyness like this that could be like for the trying to figure out like the busyness stuff how to calm down all this stuff on the shelves and what's in your head type thing what outer forces could come from different things. So I'm like, I'm just suggesting different things of what could happen, what this deck could be used for. Like you could use it for anything you wanted, but. Yeah, so it is a really interesting deck. So, But it all, as I said, it all depends on what you like in a deck. So it might be a little different than what some people would want in their deck. But it just has like some fantastic little, you gotta look a few times on a few of the cards, so, oh, well, okay, I miss, might have missed that the first time looking over and kind of thing. So, yeah, the Sorcerer's Tarot. Happy readings.